police, I'ma stack this paper till I overdose. Woody, holy, slowly, back your bitch ass up, you over close. I overflow, I overhost. My niggas is over. the main event of Retribution. We got CJ Price, who won the number one contendership at Show 117 Season Beans uh, against uh, against uh, seven other guys in an eight-way elimination match. Damn, open hand slap. Doctor has no respect for CJ Price, because CJ Price has no respect for anyone else. CJ Price was very upset with Commissioner Dave Dawson that uh, he was put in a four-way elimination match against Bowser the last show for the title because he, he was right to have a number one, number one title match, one-on-one, -on -one, number one contenders match. So he complained he got his match and here it is today, main event of Revolution. Big scoop slam by Bouncer on CJ Price. And Bouncer's run has been very good. He's defeated the likes of me, Rush, Backyard, won a triple threat against Torque and Humberto. And won the four-way match against Bobby Otis, CJ Price, and uh, Aaron Douglas. So he's knocked off quite a, a bit of uh, top contenders and former heavyweight champions on his run. Uh, and he's definitely going to worry about CJ Price here. But CJ Price would love nothing more than to be heavyweight champion. And if, I can tell you this, if CJ Price wins this title, he will never hear the end of it. Bouncer will be doing it for if he can retain the title here today against CJ Price at show 120 Retribution. So, this is a lot of retribution for both these men. Uh, it came down to these two guys in the six pack challenge, the match of the year for 2013. Uh, CJ Price turned his back on me, ending my title reign. A very long title reign of uh, eight, nine, nine months now, or uh, then. And uh, Bouncer has won, held it ever since, and that was show one. Team. Bouncer has put together an impressive title run, and that could come. Oh, damn, that could come to fruition uh, today. <laughs> CJ Price has rubbed a lot of people the wrong way over the years, oh, right across the back. Right Needed the gut right there. See, they're trying for that neck breaker. Oh, damn. That, and I can tell you firsthand that hurts quite a bit. That neck breaker is arguably the most uh, vicious neck breaker in the whole league. That, that championship, the heavyweight championship, doesn't typically uh, change <laughs> change hands very often at all. So, and it's very hard to even earn a title match. So, some guys have been in this league about two years only have one title match to their name. The guys like Torque and Bobby Otis, for example, only even fought for once. You got guys like Anarchy and Olympia have been here since pretty much day one have won it. Guys have been close on a few occasions. I didn't win my first heavyweight title until 2011. And I, was, I was in the very first match. Nice kick up high by CJ Price. I mean, Bouncer had been in the league since 2005. It took him almost eight years to uh, win his first heavyweight title. Only him with a damn unique pull up right there. I will um, say the least. Man, the DDT right to the leg. I've seen uh, that as a popular movie in Japan. I've seen a few people do that. Alex Shelley comes to mind over here in the States as well. CJ's got to break the hold right there. Five count will get him disqualified. That's the last thing CJ wants. But Bouncer doesn't want that either. Bouncer wants to beat CJ Price fair and square. 
prove to him without a shadow of a doubt he is the better man. But these guys, they do have a clash of styles, that's for damn sure. A little known fact, nice, uh, almost ankle lock by uh, Joel Nissan right there. Very impressive by a bouncer. Bouncer, bouncer, nothing very flashy about bouncer. He's in your face, he's, more funny, he's a brawler, and uh, it gets the job done. That's all that matters. Uh, that's why he's heavyweight champion. That's why he's got four title defenses to his name. He ain't gonna let that go anytime soon if, it, if it's up to him. And that uppercut right across the face, that's CJ flat out there. Little known fact, uh, CJ Price's first match in WMW was against Bouncer. His first two matches, he lost that match. And, but his first ever win was against Bouncer. These guys faced each other back to back in 2009. Uh, and Bouncer's return to WMWA and CJ's debut. Uh, CJ was released from his contract in 2010 by, in, from WMWA. And he earned his way back in by 2011. And uh, he had to start all the way back at the bottom. But he has earned his title match today. And whether you like him or not, he earned his title match in that A-way elimination. That's for damn sure. Uh, Winning an eight way, beating seven other guys to just win uh, a one on one match is no easy feat. I mean, there were definitely some heavy hitters in that match. Taylor made, Aaron Douglas, uh, just to name a few, Bobby Otis, you know, guys that make you work for your win. And uh, they definitely did. CJ Price rocking some new gear, some new Under Armour gear, some shorts. Uh, might give him more uh, maneuverability. I know when I switched gear to uh, my white. Uh, Windbreakers there. I was able to hit my super kick a lot higher, get it right in the face and the jaw and the nose of people. So uh, sometimes the gear switch really gives you that edge, whether you realize it or not. CJ Price is one of the few guys that wears kick pads in WWE, another known fact. Uh, so you've got to watch out for those. Kick pads allow you to kick as hard as you can without having to worry about a recoil on your legs. So I've seen people without kick pads in the WWE do some serious damage to themselves by kicking hard without the pads. So CJ Price, very smart to use those because he loves to use those feet. I bet you, I know Armani uses kick pads as well. Up high. Wow, leg drop out of nowhere. Definitely ruin uh, an arm right there. That's not care. I mean, CJ didn't even see it coming. Those are usually the worst ones to take when you don't see them coming. I've been in the ring with both these guys. Uh, I threw everything I could in my title to, uh, title rematch against the bouncer. Uh, I, I thought I had a dead rights with a cross face. He was able to counter it. Nice suplex by the bouncer. Bouncer, I mean, he does have some good moves to his uh, name. I mean, he's got the triple suplex right here. Going for that trifecta. Uh, CJ's trying to reverse it. And he's up into a small package. Just a two count. CJ almost stole the heavyweight title right then and there. It's going to town right now. Damn. Working. Uh, and uh, CJ Price is just in control of this match right now. Versus Chinlock right there. Trying to methodically pit apart the bouncer. It's tough to do. A uh, bouncer, I'd say right up there with Humberto, probably two of the toughest guys in there. And he missed. Oh, damn. Landed right on his uh, backside and uh, bouncer counters and he bouncers in control of still. Neither the guy. Second. Oh, at least suplex right there. Just wings him across the ring. CJ was trying to get the top rope and uh, that way he could hold on, but didn't work out right there. <laughs> ah, yeah. Now he's got him in a surfboard stretch right there. Trudo chop. You gotta love that Bouncer calls some of his moves in the ring, like in terms of like just like saying them out loud, so the fans can know what the hell he's doing. Uh, it's part of his persona, really. It's just uh, who Bouncer is. <coughs> Bouncer just, uh, you know, been kind of a man on a mission for a while. Uh, 
Dave Dawson helped get him on the right track in 2011. He started having some really good matches, carried in 2012. The only guy to be Supreme Champion three times, so he got that to his credit. Hybrid and Tag Team Champion, so one of the very, I think only of four, five guys that have been Grand, you know, to be Grand Slam Champion. Along with uh, Drake, Dawson, Big C, and Backyard, so pretty impressive. Short list. Splash him in the corner. Into a cover. Two. Just the two. Like I said before, CJ never let us hear the end of it. We'll definitely go pull up the bouncer this one. What the hell? CJ just took the title right out of my hand. Brooke got hit in the head. Oh, damn! He just turned Bouncer inside out. All right, now he's gonna get rid of the evidence. Of course, CJ. Trying to wake the ref up. Into a cover, into a cover. He's gonna steal him right here. Thanks for watching. Uh, see you in the next show.